Hi, let's design a pumpkin shape using Tinkercad. It should be a lot of fun. The first thing we're going to do is use our geometrics and pull a sphere onto the work plane. We're going to extend the sphere to 40 millimeters. And then we're going to hit Control D to duplicate. We're going to rotate that duplication 22.5 degrees and then shift it over five spaces. Then we're going to hit Control D over and over until we get all the way around and we have a basic pumpkin shape. In order to keep that a one shape, we need to highlight it and group it. Then we want to rotate around our work plane and take a look at it and realize that's kind of squat, so I want to extend it up. And let's go to 45 millimeters. We want to pull another shape onto the work plane and let's pull a cylinder on. We want to raise that up 45 millimeters. And we want to use the arrow keys to move that over. Kind of get it basically where we want it. Take a look at that. It's pretty close, but we want to make sure it's exact. So we highlight the shape. We use the adjust under that and we align. And we want to align it on this plane and this axis right here. That looks pretty good. We want to look at the bottom. Looks like it's good. And then we want to highlight the area and group it. When I looked at the bottom of my work plane, I realized that I don't know if my print's going to print out flat because of those little dots you can see. So it's going to be confusing to the printer. So the best case is to flatten it out. And how you do that is you take your shape, whatever it is, right now it's our pumpkin, and you put it two millimeters below the work plane. You can see that was a negative two, two millimeters. Then you go down to the bottom and you put another work plane by hitting W and adding the work plane right there, dragging a box shape over, turning it into a hole, then extending it over your bottom. Oops, that just came out a little like that. Let's do that, extend it a little bit more. Then you want to group, you want to highlight all of this and group it. And because you group that hole, with the bottom of the pumpkin, it is actually erasing everything that's down there and cutting it flat. So that's what we have. Now we have a flat bottom pumpkin. That's very helpful. We want to go back to our original work plane by hitting W and putting it off on the kind of an unused area. And you can see now we have a pumpkin shape and it looks pretty good. We want to actually hit Control D again and duplicate that pumpkin shape to hollow it out. And the way we do that is we move that shape over, we turn it into a hole, and we reduce it by about five millimeters all around. And you hold the shift and on there, and you decrease the whole thing by about five. We move it back in, and to make sure that it's directly in the center, we need to align, so we need to highlight and use the align tool. And we want to make sure we align on all axes. So we had three to do, and it worked, because now instead of being here, we need to get that. And they're grayed out when they are aligned. So we look around to make sure there's not any part of that hole sticking out. It isn't. And we need to group this together to create a hollow shape. So we're highlighting and hitting group. And as it saves, we can rotate around to make sure it looks good. We're going to go back home and we are going to move our pumpkin over a little bit. Okay, this is a good looking pumpkin, but I want to make it a jack-o-lantern. And the way I'm going to do that is by pulling over some geometrics to get a face on our pumpkin. So I just pulled over the roof and I am going to kind of scale it down a little bit turn it into a hole, and then move it in to our pumpkin. 
We're going to use the arrow keys because you get a little bit more precise. Then we're going to hit Control D and get the exact same size shape and then move it over a little bit. And so now we have two different eye holes. And then we want to hit Control D again, flip this over. And you see that we have a little upside down shape that we're going to make the nose. And we're going to get it into space. I'm going to take a look and I realize I want this one, I want to move up. So I'm going to go up one, one, two, three. I'm going to move this up, one, two, three. Then I'm going to move my nose up a little bit, one, two. I'm going to pull in a shape for the mouth, and I'm going to use the round roof. I'm going to pull it onto the work plane. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to resize it a little. Turn it into a hole. And move it on to the work plane. And see what it looks like. I think I would like that to be a little bit bigger. You can always resize your shape. And then I'm going to space it a little bit better. I think overall that's a pretty good looking pumpkin. And I want to highlight this and group it. And you can see that it then becomes a jack-o'-lantern. And right now, once it's grouped, you want to take a look all around. Looks pretty good still working on grouping it. Sometimes it can take longer depending on just where you're at. You want to take a look at it. I know because of the red lines it's been grouped. It looks pretty good. Now I can resize or that it's grouping and now once the red lines go away I know that it's grouped. I take a look. I like it but I still want my pumpkin to be a little taller. I can still do that because this is all one shape and it'll all move uniformly. So I can pull it up and you see that it shapes it just like you want. So you can always play around. I think this looks great and we're gonna stop for right now.